Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Meredith Lego, and my channel is on Ascension Science and the Expansion of Consciousness. And today I'm going to talk about a topic that has come up um, again, I think, in the collective consciousness, or at, I would say in some groups, but is starting to become more known to the general public, which has to do with human trafficking. Um, this obviously has become more front and center with a recent movie that has come out called The Sound of Freedom. I have not seen this movie, so I'm not going to talk about it. But I did want to share um, basically uh, an experience that I had that basically shows that what happens in terms of, uh, you know, why human trafficking is occurring what's happening on a multidimensional level and why it is so important that as a human species, we really work on trying to solve this and eradicate this. I'm also mentioned before I get into the content that um, a while back, and I'll try and include the link to this, I actually did a video on ending human trafficking. And I did it because I had gone through the experience of actually remembering some past lives where I was the subject or the victim of being trafficked and what sort of um, implication that that put on the kind of consciousness evolution and uh, journey, as well as what it took for me to break the cycle of going through that. Um, so I would encourage you to go through that uh, because I think, you know, when these things happen to children, it has an enormous impact not just on the child, but actually on the consciousness. It essentially becomes fragmented through that experience. So I wanted to dive into that a little bit more. This is not for the faint of heart, I will tell you, but I think it was important that um, I share this. If you're interested, if, if this is not a topic that resonates with you, I'd encourage you to just end now. But if you're interested in learning more about how, how um, like the healing can occur around this, um, that I would encourage you to watch. So basically, I want to share an experience, and it it was it happened a while ago. It probably happened a year ago. Um, I didn't share it at the time because you know it was a bit um, jarring of um, basically uh, uh, an experience that I had of astral traveling. Um, so essentially, I was meditating, and um, astral traveled uh, to a location that was essentially in Eastern Europe. It was in um, uh, some sort of an old dilapidated factory. Um, I'm not sure you know, if it was in um, Chechnya or something that had was old dilapidated, had experienced war, you know, but it was someplace in Eastern Europe for sure. And essentially I witnessed or saw a bunch of very, very small children. I'm talking in the range of six months to, you know, at most two and a half, maybe three. I mean, there must have been 20, 30 kids um, in this situation, and they were essentially um, bound um, in, in bindings, if you will. So they were bound in leather bindings, and they were um, essentially being held in a very, very small um tub of water, if you will. It was almost like it was in the basement area of this factory. Um, there was like concrete, but there was a stoop down of the concrete, if you will, that looked like almost like a small pool, maybe a, you know, a 10 by 10 or 10 by 15 pool, if you will. Um, that was probably about 15 inches high. And it was um, probably had about, I would say, an inch or two of water in it. And the kids were, you know, being kept down there and they were essentially being trafficked. Um, and I was horrified as I was witnessing this. So I was kind of acting as a, um, as a silent observer to this experience. And there were plenty, plenty of adults in the room, both male and female who are partic partaking in this, um, you know, process of, of holding these children. And when I say that they were bound, um, what I want to say is that there was essentially, unfortunately, these kids did not have clothes on, but they had um, basically bindings or straps, leather straps, it almost looked like across their body. But one of the things that I observed because this was happening from an astral experience is that um, when the kids go through this process of physical reality, they actually go through a process of being energetically bound, um, basically, 
uh, you know, in other dimensions. So it has a material impact on the soul, not just from obviously having go gone through a very tough experience, which can fracture the consciousness, but it actually creates an energy binding of that soul to um, other beings, if you will. It's almost like then you become a property or ownership of me, not just in the third third dimension that we experience, but in other dimensions. So um, that was a huge eye-opening experience. I was furiated when, you know, I was witnessing this. Um, obviously, that's something that's still working on healing inside of me, having gone through an experience like that. And it was uh, basically the act of uh, escaping the experience in a past life that allowed me to sort of break the cycle that said, I will not consent to this anymore for myself. And obviously won't consent to this for anybody else. So um, again, just wanted to share that experience of why, why it is so critical that as a human species, we do everything in our willpower to essentially eradicate this practice. Again, because we are all pieces of consciousness. We are all part of source. We are all interconnected. And when you've got essentially one aspect of you know, one human being who represents one fractal of source, if you will, they're going through that experience. It impacts everybody, it impacts the whole. But not only that, that that fractal is either even further fractalized, you know, so they're even further traumatized, but even more so energetically and at the soul level. Um, so essentially they become bound or sort somewhat like energetic slaves. Very unfortunate. Um, so like I said, if you have you know, I think the most important thing would be, you know, if you can continue to raise awareness, this isn't something that, you know, is a conspiracy, it's happening. Um, you know, I've been able to, I've experienced it, I've witnessed that it's happening um, through astral travel. And, um, you know, in this particular case, I saw that it was playing out in the Eastern European um, front. So again, this was about a year ago, I saw this. Um, anyway, not a very fun message to be sharing, but did want to, um, you know, share it obviously because it's very top of mind with the release of that one movie called The Sound of Freedom. So with that, um, I hope this is, you know, a fortunate topic, but continues to raise your awareness about just the importance of, you know, what goes on in your world and how it can impact uh, multiple dimensions of, of consciousness and um, density layers as well. So with that, I'll sign off and I'll see you in future videos. Thanks very much. Bye.